Hi, it's Nancy here. Thanks for joining me today. Today I am making kind of a wintry Valentine's Day card. I've gotten so much use out of this one Lawn Fawn stamp set. I'll link it in the post below. But today what I'm going to do is create a little scene using um, the mice and the penguin and create a Valentine's Day card. So I'm going to stamp out the images on my card and I'm using um, VersaFine Mark Ink to stamp them out. And I'm creating several hearts that I'm going to use on this project and I'll have plenty for other projects. And I'm using the red tinsel embossing powder to fill in the heart images. And then I'm going to heat set that. And I'll come back with glossy accents and go over the top of all of those hearts to give it some pop. Next, I'm taking the, um, I guess you'd call it the, the ice, and I'm stamping that out. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to color it in and then come back and put some glossy accents on the top of the, the ice to give it also some texture and dimension. I have the um, playback set fast and I quickly went by the fact that I also used a cloud image to stamp out some blue for my background. Here I'm taking a textured piece of cloth and going over with some zero Copic marker and trying to give a little more dimension and texture to those ice. So now I'm going to get my misty out and figure out how I want to lay the scene out on the top of my card. And I apologize, I get off the screen there for a little bit while I'm stamping. I'm using Memento Black Ink to stamp down the images. And you can see on my misty there how my magnets popped in half. Have yours done that? I'm creating a number of these cards, so as long as I have the stamps all set up on the misty, I'm going to stamp out a number of these card fronts. When I watch this video back in my playback mode um, and notice that I'm off camera, it just annoys me so much. It's so hard to do the videoing and the creating at the same time, so I apologize. Next, I'm going to use the image of the, the string or the rope, and I'm going to connect that between my two characters so it looks like they're kind of having a tug-of-war over the ice. I'm using a Micron 0 0.01 pin to draw the rest of the rope over to the other critter. I've stamped one of the ice bars directly on the card and I'm going to color it in and then I've created a bunch of them on another sheet of paper and what I'm going to do is cut them out and layer them onto the card. I go on top of those ice barges with a nappy kind of rag and some liquid Copic Zero and I'm just stamping on top of it or dabbing on top of it trying to take a little bit of it off and it gives it a, a really nice texture when it dries. I'm going to put some music on now and just let you watch me um, color. I'm not doing anything special and then I'll be back when I start assembling the card. I'm going to get out the red heart that comes with the stamp set and I'm going to use my favorite things hybrid ink pad in red and I'm going to stamp those hearts all along that rope 
and then I'm going to go in and apply some accents all over the hearts, which gives it a nice um, raised effect when they're dry. I really like the glossy accents. It adds a lot to a card. I'm going to take a stencil out, and I'm using a stencil from My Favorite Things, and it has hearts on the back, and I'm going to use some Distress Ink with in weathered wood and a little dauber and start daubing some of those hearts on the back of my card and try to start creating some interest and some layers on the card. I've taken a, another panel of paper and used the cloud covered die cut and then I'm going back and forth with the stencil as well and creating some more hearts on that. So I go back and forth a few times and the first panel that I cut in blue I get out and I try to figure out how I'm going to assemble that all on the card. So I have almost all the pieces done now and I'm going to cut out the iceberg and the heart and start assembling them onto the top of my um, panel on my card. And I'm just kind of figuring out where I want to lay them and um, using some foam tape to add some dimension to the extra pieces of the iceberg and the heart. And I get them assembled under the critters and finish that piece of it. On the second card, I use a piece of colored vellum that has some white dots on it and um, cut that out with my uh, cloud die cut and that gives this card just a little different look and then um, I add a little bit of string to the card as well. So that completes my card. I hope you enjoyed watching this and if you like it please give me a thumbs up and I hope you'll go do something creative today. Thanks!